What is going on, all you boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with Baldur's Gate. Where we last left off, we created this handsome fellow over here by the name of Abdul Adrian. Um, he's probably going to end up being a bit of a D-bag. That's how I might roleplay him. Um, he's a fighter. Um, and we'll we'll take it from there. He's going to be just he's just going to be cleaving his way to victory and slaying the occasional dragon and damsel in distress. So, I had promised we would get into the game proper, so without further ado. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Alright, now that we got that kind of uh, Lord of the Rings, right, what's this Bilbo then? Baggins, unexpected journey uh, nonsense out of the way, let's get into it. We're going to do a little bit of questing. Let's see what we actually started out. I think it's 14. Oh, come on. Yep, 14. So let's talk to this babe over here and see what she's got to say. Flidia. Hello there. Oh, hello. Have you seen my copy of the History of Halrua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here, and oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. Okay. So we gotta find her a little book. Because she obviously just can't. She can't keep track of a book. I mean, come on. Let's go into the priest quarters. Let's see what's going on in there. Alright. Hello. Right, what's this then? Oh, goody, goody. I've gone and found you first. You're the ward of Gorion, no doubt. I do not recognize you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Who I am is unimportant, but who you are is very much so. I apologize for this dirty bit of business, but I must seek your death. A pity, I know, but it would seem your head is worth an exceptional amount to me. I kill you myself, and I need not share credit with anyone. <laughs> and that's what happens when you mess with the old Abdul. So we're going to take that just for some... What is it? Control? The tab. There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can force these. I'm not a thief, so I can't pick any locks. But I do have a pretty decent strength, so I can start forcing. And I, I can carry 250 pounds, so um, I'm pretty cock diesel here. Let's loot the bejesus out of this place. Let's see what we can find in here. I'll ransack the bejesus out of it. See, if we were... See, nope, this way with a chaotic neutral... We don't really have to concern ourselves. We can just <laughs> gibbed him. Right, what's this then? Hmm? 
Abdul, Adrian, you cut yourself above the brow there. What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tell me that something is very wrong indeed. It's, it's nothing, Parda. One of the cats didn't like me penning it. I'm all right, really. Hmm, yes, well. Get what you need from the inn, then, for Garion is desperate for you to be off. Let's talk to this guy, see what he's got to say. Kind of looks need? like me. Flidia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay there, beside the cow. If you could run it over to her and then come back, I've got some plans for you. Right there. Get that tome. Talk to him. We're not going to do that. What do you that. need? Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it, though, her being sick and all. I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off hull. He stayed up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning. So I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. Alright, so we're going to actually just take care of all these quests. Over here we have a temple of Agma. We can talk to the priest if we want to, but we're not going to... We're not going to concern ourselves with um, religious bu busybodies. Talk hey, to this yeah. guy. Hey there, Abdul Adrian. I see you're up early this day. Well, your father, Garion, has asked me a strange favor. Seems like he wants you to learn some fighting and asked me to be your teacher. So I hope you brought the staff with you. This is just a little background on how to fight. And I'll let you know that you can pause it at any time. See, hit the space bar, pause, gives you time to kind of allocate your character since I've only got one person. This guy's got a bow. Missile weapons in this game are very deadly, so let's go after him first. And he just landed a shot right in my chest. I can take Drizzt with Wow, you're quite a fighter. I think John Delar was right when he said you didn't need any practice. We should go talk to the gate warden if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find them just south of here. Out there it can be pretty important to know how to fight with allies at your side. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what this is. Nothing. Let's talk to this dwarf. By Moradin's hammer! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Okay, we're paused. Get over here! So here we go. Here's the RNG. So even though it looks like he's attacking multiple times, each swing is not an actual attack. And I think there's actually an option that you can activate. Sorted. Like to see the dice rolls. And see, okay, like, okay, dice roll of, you know, 14, you needed a 16, so you got a hit. Okay, let's hit. Alright, that was easy enough. Okay, we looted the bejesus out of that. You could kill the cats, but, I mean, why? Why would we? You know, why Why would we kill a little kitty cat? Let's talk to the dwarves. Ah, yes. Kill them like the rats that they are. A glorious battle unlike any of this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one place. Miserly bastard. Go down. I'm not going to talk to any of these green robe guys. I don't think they really tell us anything important. They'll probably tell us how to play the game, but isn't that what I'm here for? This is Hull, so let's talk to him. <sighs> hey, kid. I woke late this morning left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. If you want to get it for me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me without it. you also find an antidote there. I think Drepin needs one for old Nessa. Alright, let's head on down here. Our rules are very strict. Soon be gone, will ya? I, Garion, arsed me to teach you a wit about the finer arts o' mass combat before you leave. Can I pique your interest with it, Abdul Adrian? Yes, Gate Warden, I would appreciate that. Good then, child. Tis one thing to maintain control over yourself in the heat of battle, but tis quite another to maintain one's authority over a group. I've arsed Obi, the illusionist, to run through a few simulations for you down in the storage cellars. Just follow me this way and I'll unlock the door for you. We'll go over here, kind of hidden away, but if you know where to click, you'll be alright. Wisdom is only possessed by the learned. Yeah, whatever. Abdul Adrian, the gate warden, arsed me to prepare a little going away party for you. A bit of mass combat practice is in order, I believe. Well, I'll make it real simple for you. Candorus, Mordain, Arcanus, Dater, and Osprey are all going to join your party. You'll have to complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join you in your coming travels. 
Once they've all joined your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions of common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of this keep. These illusions will attack the party, and it will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions, and they won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them, however, because in the real world, pain, harm, and even death are far more real. And they also just let you know that you have some spells and items in your quick slot. And if I'm done, I can just talk to them. Right, what's this then? So I will pause it, issue some orders. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Hello there. Yes, friend? Hello. Hey, yeah. All right, then we're going to take our thief. It's the only reason I really come down here. You don't get any experience. Hey, killing yeah. them, but you can get a mite bit of experience from unlocking a couple chests in here, so. Spin it out. Get over here! Hey, yeah. So while that's going on. I'm just gonna sneak over here. And that'll be that. And I can sneak back over here and attack him. You rang. Now some of your guys, some of your characters do have. Go on, then. Um, an AI uh, script to them where they'll autom if one of their if the monster that they're actually attacking uh, goes down, they'll automatically pick up on another nearby monster and start Wisdom attacking them. However, your main character and a few of the uh, NPCs you find do not have an AI script. Now, I think you can change that, um, but I usually don't for some reason, especially on the main character. Um, at least I'd like to have him under con under my control. Have you had enough yet? If you're ready to go, I'll teleport you back outside. Otherwise, you better be ready for some more fighting. I think I've had enough. Just take me outside. Okay, then. Once I teleport you outside, you're not going to be able to get back in here again. This is for your own protection, as the illusions I use can sometimes be dangerous. I'm on it. Alright, so as you see, party lost an item. Uh, the only items you lose... Um, Sorted. Let's talk to this guy. These walls contain the world's knowledge. So are you sick? You look rather healthy to me, but you never can tell. Do you need any potions or such things? Yeah, that'd be nice of you. All right, then, take this potion. Got a free potion of healing. That'll never hurt. Um, Sorted. One time I went down there and I tried to steal, because I think some of them have, like, plate armor. Some of those uh, NPCs down in the basement there have, like, plate armor and stuff. They have some pretty good equipment. And I tried to... Uh, steal a bunch of it and um, load it up in my inventory and as soon as you teleport out it just disappears from your inventory so yeah good try with that let's go in the bunkhouse I have a blade Salted. with your name on it there there you're Garion's little whelp aren't you yeah you match the description you don't look so dangerous to me and what business is that of yours I'll make it my business if and I please. Just thought I'd have me a look at you myself but before I put the blade down your gullet. Someone seems to think you're trouble, so I'm going to use your head for a ticket out of the gutter. I'm just a little street trash hood, they say, but I'll show them. And here's the RNG. Come on. There we go. I have had, um, I, I have stood there for legit probably close to three or four minutes without landing a single, without landing a single hit on one of these assassins. Um, again, it just boils down to the RNG. There's nothing Roy, what's this you can do to, um, to change it. Something on your mind? I heard shouting, Abdul Adrian. Are you all right? It's better you don't ask questions, Karen. You've instructed and inspired me throughout my childhood, and your heart would break to see what has transpired here. Oh, child, you're too f you are too young for the life that is being thrust upon you. If you be fully equipped for your journey, I pray you run now to Garion on the library steps, for he is anxious to depart. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that when we get to it, as they say. Now, well, what's this then? you can attempt to loot these... Um, chests I highly do not recommend it as you're in a guardhouse and it's loaded with guards let's talk to the guard captain or fuller 
Uh, what a meat-filled night. That hull is just too much. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning, too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you, anyways? I was wondering if he had any errands I could run. Errands? Yeah, actually, I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you could get some off Winthrop at the end, I'll reimburse you. Ah, oh, very well. There will be some few, there will be some coins in it for you, too, so stop giving me that look. Alright, and that's really about it for the, uh... Sorted. For the mini-quest, so... Let's go to our map. You can just over-click here, and we'll just click over here and pretty much just put on the old... Put on ye old speed travel. Talk to Hull, see what he's got to say. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo. Grind didn't bring you up half bad, did he? You're lucky to have grown up here in Candlekeep, to be honest. Sometimes I think that the world outside these gates has gone mad, what with all the fighting over iron shortages and all. Amon and Baldur's Gate will be at war before the season's out, mark my words. Anyhow, I'm on duty. Here's 20 gold pieces for saving my skin from the chief. Now, this is where charisma comes into play. If you have a low charisma, and actually let's go to our character sheet. No, nope, that doesn't do it. Record? There we go. Um, here's your reputation. Average, 10. Um, that changes based upon your um, alignment. The best reaction is lawful good. Worst alignment is like chaotic neutral, I think. Or not chaotic, but uh, lawful chaotic evil. Um, I don't know what it starts out at, but um, so chaotic neutral, eh, you know, they're kind of indifferent. Um, you do get a modifier based off of your charisma. So that being said, that's where, you know, being handsome, smelling nice, being purdy, having some muscular definition comes into play. Um, and they always said, you know, going to the gym was for meatheads. What do you need? Heh, <laughs> you're a wonder you are. Stick with me and we'll go far. Well, alright. Stick with me and we'd probably never leave the walls of Candlekeep, would we? Hmm. Good thing you ain't wearing none of that metal armor, though. As I hear the bandits out there would just as soon kill you as look at you to get it off your back. I just hope this whole iron crisis business will be wrapped up soon. So we're just racking up some XP, getting our questing on, wrapping up some minor quests, getting our fetch quest on. But any little bit'll help. Uh -huh. um, it, is, it takes a ton of experience to level up in this game. Hello there. My book. Oh, you remind me of Garine when you grin like that. Raising you has been hard on him, I know, but he says it's a toil of love, a toil of destiny even. You must be a very special child indeed to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. Um, so yeah, with Fuller, or not Fuller, but um, Hull, if your uh, charisma isn't very high to start out with and you don't have a good reputation, Salted. he's um, he pretty much just calls you a brat and tells you to piss off, and I think he might give you like five gold, maybe maybe half that, maybe ten. Um, so let's see if we can bust this cabinet open because it's locked. Let's see if we can bust it open. Successfully forced it. Got some gold, got some scrolls. Not that that's going to help us at all, but... Okay, get my... Get my keybinds messed up here. Let's talk to this fatty. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, youngin. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee as per candle keeps custom, don't you know? You were always the big kidder, Winthrop. That gets funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Nah, just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but you know you are always welcome here in my sight. Ryan did well by you, he did. So is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or something to buy? Sure, what do you have? So, we can rest, which we don't really need to do, or we can purchase some goodies. So, let's sling, let's fence some of this stuff that we've purloined in our travels. Not really going to get much for it. We're going to hold on to these, even though we could. No, he won't take them. So, alright, what do we need? Let's take a look. All right, let's get a two-handed sword. We're going to need that. We could purchase some armor, but um, I don't recommend it. Um, you'll be coming across enough armor, uh, enough generic armor in the near future. Um, you, don't, you don't need it. At least I don't think you do. And let's get a helmet. Um, helmets protect against critical hits. Oh, and let's not forget Coral of, Boats, uh, Coral of Bolts for Fuller. And let's buy it. All right. 
Go to our inventory, slap that on our noodle. Got our little horned helmet on. Uh, let's give ourselves our sword, and let's. let's I just I, I am a huge. Uh, I have kind of an OCD thing when it comes to uh, inventory management. Like everything, I don't like like a like a blank spot to be in between items. It's just a thing of mine. Talk to some nobles over here. No time to chit chat. Step up the heat, young one. You'll need a good fire to warm the chill stairs of those monks. Most inhospitable they are. Isn't that so, lovey? Oh yes, darling. They are most standoffish. Okay. Oh, I would not let it concern you, milady. Perhaps they are just not used to wealth such as yours. You are quite wealthy, are you not? Bring a lot of expensive jewelry with you. Perhaps that was it. It may have looked as though we were showing off. I'm going to lock all my jewelry back in the room, dear, so I don't f offend them again. A capital idea, lovey. Perhaps I should do the same. Leave the finery under lock and key whilst we brush up on our reading. I can think of no safer place than here. I doubt very much that a scoundrel would pay the book fee into this place to burgle the inn. Laughable. So that's another place where charisma plays in. If you select that option and you're a stinky little bugger that uh, nobody trusts, um, they just they, they, they kind of catch on to your scheme that you're trying to uh, lift their goods. So um, they'll uh, they'll threaten to call the guards and uh, they won't, but they'll threaten it and you don't actually get anything out of it. Let's talk to this uh, miserly old wizard over here. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, yes, I'm back within the hallowed halls of Candle Keep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Baragos was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Garion's ward, aren't you? Why, well, you have come into your own if you would permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identify scroll with Tethoral. Tethoral? In the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Now, I am going to exploit a, uh, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's just a little secret. Um, you talk to him 30 times and you get 300 gold. So we got one, it's a hard two. to find decent folk nowadays. It's a hard 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 to find and decent 30. folk nowadays. And you hold still for a little bit. Hang tight. And there we go, 300 gold. So, let's head up here. I'm on it. Let's get some goodies. Let's see what we have. We got a little bit of gold. We're not going to get a ton of stuff, but, you know, a little bit adds up to a big bit, right? So that's a lot. Let's force it. Take that necklace. Is there anybody down here? No, that guy's sleeping, so he's not going to hear us. Take that potion, a little bit of gold. This is the chest, I believe, where the uh, nobles stash their stuff. Um, need a fairly high lockpick skill um, or a super strength skill, and unfortunately... I just don't have it. I don't have either right now, so. It is what it is. Don't touch me! I might catch something. Hmm. Sorry to have disturbed you. Wrong room, I fear. Perfectly understandable. Good eve to you. Away with you, beggar! Well, I certainly hope there is an explanation for this intrusion. Explain yourself. A simple mistake and no cause for excitement, so watch your words or I'll be forced to feed them to you. What? Well, I have never been treated in such a manner. Be gone, lest I call the guard to remove you. They're saying, do not attempt to steal uh -huh, while there are people in the room. Unless you're invisible. Otherwise, you I'm will get the gar guard called on you. All right, let's. Um, I want to go get the uh, get that uh, scroll that he was talking about. Greetings, there he is. 
Firebead has sent you to sent you to me, hasn't he? Very well. Return the scroll to him, but then you must hurry and speak with Garion. He is waiting for you on the steps of the central library. I assure you, child, it's a matter of greatest urgency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So let's... We're getting close to that 30-minute mark. I'm going to try and wrap up the quests. And a little bit of word, a word for the wise. Do not piss that red robe guy off. Um, he will kill you. Straight up. Straight up, sees. Got some chanters over there. I don't really know what they're mumbling about. Some prophecies and such. Now, I do, I do kind of like... Um, I mean, even if you don't want to roll with you know, a canon protagonist, which I can understand. I mean, that's that's the beauty of the game, is it allows you to play however you however you want. Right, what's this then? I should have joined the army. Thanks, kid. I hear tell you might be leaving this place soon. Watch your back out there, okay? Here, let me give you this dagger. My father killed a hobgoblin with it once, many years ago. Stabbed him right in the back, he did. It ain't no broadsword, but it'll do in a pinch. Now take care of yourself. Again? Yet another area where right, charisma uh, plays a part. Otherwise, he just gives you a little bit of, little bit of gold to reimburse you for your, uh, for your trouble. He doesn't give you a, a dagger, which actually is actually a magic dagger. It's a dagger plus one. So let's get up here. Let's uh, let's slap um, let's slap fire bead with his scroll, and then we can roll out. I think we'll probably pick up in the next episode. Maybe we'll we'll give the uh, scroll to Fire B. We'll cut the episode off, and um, that'll be I'm as good a place as any, I think. It's a hard to find, decent. Ah, I am glad nowadays. to see that age has not hardened your heart towards an old man such as myself. I'll take all of your identify scrolls. I have a great use for those types of scrolls. Here, allow me to cast a little spell on you. It will protect you against um, any evil you might meet tonight. My question is, he's, he sent me out for one scroll, and he said, Oh, I'll just take any of those that you have. Well, you know, that wasn't the deal, old man. All right. So, yeah, I think that'll be as good a place as any to cut off the episode. Uh, where we will uh, we'll actually, uh, I think we'll be getting out of here next episode. Thank you again for joining me. Um, again, super psyched to be doing this in Fallout. Um, please give me all that loving down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you again next time.